looks like that water is just frozen in time. The liquid magically transfers, suddenly turns oh green. That's like a glow stick! Watch it. Changes color. Take the flint and make sparks appear. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today, I've got my daughter, Ava, with me, and we are showing you seven magic science tricks that you can do. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. Okay, I have a cool science trick, little science trick to show you here. I have some blue water, and also have some yellow water. So check this out. As I lower the blue water into the yellow, Looks like half of the water in the glass suddenly turns oh, green. How is that happening? Isn't it cool? It even looks green from the glass. Now look, if you pull it out, it's an illusion. It's still blue. Super cool. It's refraction. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done. Right now. now the secret to this one is super simple. You can do this at home. All you need is a bowl full of yellow water and a bowl full of blue water. You're just gonna take some food coloring obviously and color the waters. And then all you have to do is submerge that blue cup inside the yellow bowl and it creates this illusion of green water in the blue cup. And this happens because of the yellow overlapping with the blue and it creating the color green. It's the two primary colors of yellow and blue mixing to make green the secondary color. You can see the water in the cup is still blue. It didn't actually turn green. It's just the way that you see it from the outside through the yellow water, it looks green. It is a fun, easy trick that you can do at home with science and it looks so magical. Really looks green. Thumbs up if you like this trick. Take the flint and make sparks appear. First things first, you're going to need a lighter and you're going to remove the top of it. Obviously, if you're a kid, you're gonna need an adult's help with this. And your next step is to remove this little wheel. Now be careful when you do this because there's a spring underneath it. Underneath this little spark wheel is a piece of flint and a spring. And that's what we're gonna remove. So you just wanna pop one side of that wheel out and you will find a piece of flint and a little spring. And this is what we're going to use to make the magic sparks appear. Stretch the spring out, wedge the little piece of flint in the spring just like this. This. Then you're gonna take another lighter and use it to heat up the flint. Once the flint is glowing red hot, you're gonna toss the entire thing onto the ground. You wanna toss it on the concrete and you definitely wanna toss it a safe distance away from you and be wearing eye protection. What happens is the flint hits the ground and because it's so hot, it explodes on contact. Watch. And that is called laminar flow. It looks like that water is just frozen in time. So weird. Take a balloon and fill it up with water. You're also going to need a bowl to put the balloon in. And you're also going to need some of this. This is electrical tape. Take four pieces of tape of equal size and you're going to make a hashtag sign. Just like that and you want to leave a little square in the middle. Now once you have your hashtag sign created on the balloon with the electric tape, you're going to place it right next to your kitchen sink or in a bathtub. Now the last thing you're going to need is something to poke right in the middle of the square with. If you're a kid, obviously you're going to need a parent's help with this. First things first, you want to let the balloon completely come to rest. The reason this works is because there's no turbulence in the flow and all of the water is flowing at the exact same speed. So you want to make sure the balloon is not shaking like this. You want to let it completely come to rest. Then you're going to take the tip of the blade and just poke it right in the middle of that square. And then try not to shake the balloon or the countertop and just let it flow. The stream of water will stabilize and it'll look like the water is just frozen in time. It's absolutely astonishing to see in person. When you see it on camera, it looks like a camera trick, but it's not. When you see it in real life, it absolutely blows your mind and you instantly want to touch the stream of water to make sure it's still flowing. Try that at home. All you need is a bowl, some water, some tape, a balloon, and something to poke it with.
These are special Japanese paper balloons, and the secret is the hole in the balloon. So when you crush the balloon and you tap it with your hand, as you tap it up in the air, it's actually causing the balloon to inflate. The sharp tap of the hand is followed by the balloon kind of like breathing in air. So when you first tap it, it forces air out of the balloon, obviously, but then it breathes air in. And once you tap it a bunch of times, it will slowly inflate back to its original form. And this works because of Bernoulli's principle, a scientific phenomenon that we've discussed in previous videos. It creates a completely self-working magic trick where you can crush the paper balloon, tap it up in the air with your hands, and it will magically reinflate. Okay, I have a magic potion here. So okay. check this out. Okay. I'm gonna show you something really cool. It's kind of dark in here. Let's see if we can light it up a bit. Okay, watch. First things first, you're going to need a small plastic cup and you're going to fill it with two teaspoons of water. The next thing you're going to add is a scoop of luminol mixture. The next thing you're going to need is a small scoop of perborate mixture. Stir up this mixture. And the last thing you're going to add are a few small crystals of copper sulfate. And once you add this, the reaction will start and it will begin to glow. The darker the room you're in, the brighter it will glow. And this is an example of a scientific principle called chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence is the scientific name for when two things emit light when they are mixed together. Okay, I have two cups of magic liquid. Check this out. If I add them both together in this cup, watch. See something amazing happen. Watch this. You're gonna need two plastic cups, A and B. And obviously you're gonna need a chemistry set for this or stay tuned for the end of the video. And we're gonna give away all this stuff to lucky comments in the comment section. In cup A, you're going to add the following ingredients. 50 milliliters of water. And then we're gonna take about two and a half scoops of sodium iodate. Next up on our list is sulfamic acid. We're gonna do five scoops of this. So what you're doing here is making a solution. You're gonna make a solution here in cup A, so you wanna make sure all of this is dissolved. Now we're gonna move on to solution B. First thing we're adding to solution B is 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Next up from our chemical rack here is malonic acid. We're gonna add five big scoops of this. Next up is the starch solution. We're gonna put about 20 drops in. And last but not least, we're gonna add in a little bit of manganese sulfate to solution B, just a tiny bit. And again, we're gonna swirl to mix that up. All right, now that we have solution B and A prepared, the last thing to do is to combine these and then the magic happens before their eyes But it's not actually magic. It's science it kind of turns like a pale orange color And then in about three seconds this turns right back to a dark purple and then give it a moment And it will turn right back to that pale orange color and this repeats the cycle It's an oscillating reaction and then eventually it'll kind of turn like a dull kind of brownish color and it won't react anymore Okay, check this out. I have a little piece of of straw right here and I'm going to take the liquid in this cup and magically transfer it into this cup watch and just like that the liquid magically transfers from one cup to the other science okay this is really simple and it's pretty much self-working all you need is a little piece of a plastic drinking straw and you're going to get the bendy straw part you're gonna cut it on either side so that it looks like this and then you're gonna start by putting it in the water obviously put water in this cup not have any in this one and then you're gonna start out by scooping some of the water into the straw just like that and this is gonna start the siphon that's what this is called and once the siphon start you can kind of just let go and it will do its thing self-working 
magic. What's happening here is the levels of liquid are equalizing between the two cups. So what starts all the way up here, it will go to like halfway until this one is of an equal level as you can see. Super cool, try it out at home. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it as well. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because we make a new magic video like this. Every single week you can learn new magic. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you see all of our videos. And it is giveaway time. We're giving away all the magic science tricks from this video if you want to win any of these cool science tricks just leave a comment in the comment section down below today's keyword is science so leave us a science based comment down below tell us which trick was your favorite and leave it in the comment section down below we'll be going through the comment section and reading every single comment on this video and i'll be picking seven lucky comments and mailing you the magic so you can perform these cool science tricks at home time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how to magic video the winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Be sure to send your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video and leave your comments in the comment section down below. Ava and I read all of them. We have a ton more science tricks. We've done a lot of other really cool videos like that. There's a link for a playlist right up here. Check that out. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work, work hard, and, and laugh at life. Love you guys.